Alrighty, and already my camera's screwed up. And I can't hear myself. What the hell? Not this again. Come on. Ah, that'll have to fly. Maybe. Maybe I hit a button. Did I hit a button? I did. Ah. Oh, I see what happened. My son moved my zeroing chart and that covered up my volume knob. Okay. Shammy. Shammy to start because I have missions. Early morning, heading up to the Regina Mountain. Uh, Golden Jackals. I might find some of them later. I know. Oh, and then I need three mature red deer without damaging their hearts. Simple enough. Four mature female red foxes. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Pheasant I could do. Howdy, T-Rex. Twelve mature Eurasian badgers. Ah, here we go. So... I need to harvest two mature chamois without hitting intestines or stomach. And I need to get four unspooked chamois shot from above. From above. Now, when we say from above, are we strictly speaking an elevation change? Or do I need to be on the same mountain aiming down? Uh, below them, so I suggest you hunt them from above. Yeah, see, so it kind of makes it sound like we need to be above. It is early, early, early. All right, first things first. Let's pick weapons for the day. Uh, I'm going to keep the 300 because later I want to touch red deer. So I'm going to look for the 243, which is called the Pro Hunter. Yep. And there's nothing to call chamois, right? Right, I can't use like a roe deer caller? No. Right, nothing to call chamois, so... I or I just heard. There's chamois already here. Up there somewhere. But that's fine. I'm going to bump a bunch because what I want to do is get up into the mountains a bit. I want to get up on this ridge line. The arc bug bit me again, Blunt. I can feel it. I'll be back to the game soon. The Ark Bug? Like, Ark Survival Evolved? Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we need, a, like, a rehab center sponsored by Wildcard. Alright. Uh, let's first do a little bit of that. Ooh. Isn't there a path? Where the hell's the path? It's on this side. But it's not. I that's why I don't install it. I I I know me. Ah, ah, come on. Just drive through the campsite. There it is. All I want to do is get to the top of the mountain and then I'm going to go set up to probably shoot across. Now, I won't even install arc anymore. I have a very addictive personality. And I, uh, I don't, I don't, the, the temptation would be just too great. I get so little done as it is anyways. I actually had to uninstall it because it was like 360 gigs. And my game drive is only two terabytes. Okay, do I want to start on this side or do I want to get all the way... I mean, I have a southeastern wind. And this valley's much more open. 
And this mountain's taller. So actually, yeah, I want to go to here and then foot it. what I was playing. I think it was either... It was something with Jester. Jester did some kind of, like, community stream. Oh, you know what it was? It was actually for Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild had, like, one of their big 60 gig updates. And because of Ark, I actually didn't have enough room for the update. Oh, Jesus. We're good. gonna take this thing right to the top and park it right as the sun comes up I feel like the headlights are stupid right on this thing okay let's just get up to some peaks I need four unspooked from above. Uh, there's my 243. I need to remember it's on two. So I don't accidentally shoot him with the 300. I guess technically it doesn't matter. I could shoot him with the 300. Uh, let's see. What are they doing? I love how Shammy are tier 5. Do they really get that big? Alright, so we're looking drink zone, speed zones. Now, there's a drink zone right down here below me. And another one right up here. That'll actually work if I go up there and I can look down. And I'm using the 243 just because it is so flat flying out to about 400. And look at that. That's a 600 yard shot to that ridge. The wolves, my mortal enemies, because that's probably the same pack I was hunting, uh, actually one of my first mission hunts, one of my first videos on this game. So, I recorded a bunch of bits of the last stream with the Melodistic Hunt and the Elk Hunt. And I did a thing where I have a button now to be able to manipulate within a scene so I can hide chat, hide like... Like right now, since I don't have music playing, I can hide the now playing thing. And when I made all those adjustments, I forgot to readjust which things get shown in the recordings. So all the stream stuff is hidden, except the chat windows there in all the recordings, and that, that bugs me. So now I either need to record something else for context and just use those as B-roll shots, or scrap it. And I don't want to scrap a melanistic, a five-star, and the big four-star. But on the plus side, I was doing a lot of driving around last night here to try and get more campsites and stuff in this area. And I did find a herd of red deer uh, somewhere. Uh-oh. I want to say they were in this area. 
Yeah, I think they were in this area here. Some, somewhere around here. Pretty sure. Maybe over here. No, I'm pretty sure they're over here. Either way, there are a bunch of big stags. Like, I think my biggest stag I've gotten so far has been a three star. So there's not a, not a lot of competition there. Okay, my, wait. Oh yeah, so it should be right up over here. On this ledge. I didn't realize how close I'd walked up. So I think what I might do is just get positioned nice and comfy off this ledge looking down here. No guarantee they'll be here, considering I just raced around in the UTV. But it's also super early. It's only 7. Yeah, so I'm actually here early. Well, here's the thing, though. Let's do some math while we're waiting. Let me, let me get myself situated here somewhere comfy. I don't want to be all the way down in the bushes because I want to be able to see down this way a bit. I have glare on my glasses. I actually can't see out the left side of my glasses. Ugh. I hate wearing glasses. Someday I'll be able to afford LASIK. Stuff just has to stop breaking. Oh, that made it worse. Way worse. Eh. Ow. This way. When you're too blind to be able to see the tools you need to clean your glasses so you can see where the tools are that you need to clean your glasses. I don't know if that's better or worse. In that case, that made that worse. Jesus. Probably should use a cleaning cloth instead of a paper towel. That'll work, right? That's better. I can see out the left side now. Cool. Uh, right. L curve. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Calculuminator app. Thought I heard steps. Nope, I'm hearing things. Okay. So let's see. Howdy, Misfit. All right. Uh, elk have a lifespan of 12 years. One year takes roughly three in game days. That means 36 in-game days. You can't count sleep or offline. You have to be in the game. So if you were to say, and it's a four to one ratio, so you would say what? Uh, okay, well, so 36 in-game days times 24 hours. And that gives you, I can't, why can't I hit equal? God, this phone sucks. 36 times 24 equals... Thank you. 864 in-game hours. And then you're pretty much only going to hunt during the day, so that's a 4 to 1 ratio, so you would divide by 4. So that means you need... If you want to let the herd cycle out an entire lifespan, you need to play on the map, but out of the area, for 216 hours. Real hours. So, if you do an hour, if you do two hours a day, it should only take, uh, or no, if you do two hours a week, let's say two hours a week, uh, then it should only take a hundred weeks. What's that? 25, 25 months? Yeah, that's why I'm not sure that math adds up. Cause I can't remember who told me that. Yeah, because they start at 1. So it's 12 years. 12 years is 3 in-game days. Or if 1 year is 3 in-game days. 
That's, uh... But it would make sense, because then that elk herd I caught... Uh... What am I at? I don't even know how to get to there from here. Um... No, that's not what I want. Maybe this? I have 284 hours on record, so... Assuming, which I think would probably be about right, that about 220, 230 of those hours have all been on the Nez Perce Valley, then that could explain it. That elk herd is second generation. So it would have been one generation... No, it would still be first because they were all matures towards the end, at the end of their lifespan, so... I may have just gotten lucky, and those are just initial spawns. See, I think the only way... ...you'd be able to know for sure, because there's no stat for years. Like, you don't, um... When you kill them, they just say mature. They don't give you, like, a year count. So if you were to use weight, and but weight would be dependent on genetics, so I don't think there's an actual way without a developer flat out coming out and saying, hey, this is how time flies for the animals, to figure out what the lifespan of an animal actually is. Like, you can guesstimate, but you could be completely wrong. Just, yeah. Mm. Three in-game days to one year? I'd say an in-game day to a year makes more sense. Otherwise, yeah, you would have to leave a herd alone for several months. Real-time months. There's nothing here. God, wait, was I running? Did I, oh, because I hit, yeah. Because I opened up the Steam browser, which is Shift-Tab. And for some reason, no one can make a game that's smart enough to realize I wasn't in the game hitting the button. Who <laughs> left a UTV there? Right, I did. Wait, am I at the wrong... God, it's been so long. No, I'm not at the wrong, because last time I was up there. Right. There's another lake down past the UTV on the right. I mean, either way, it'll be interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that hurdle, because it's one herd. I didn't see anything else in the area. You saw Black Bear. But I'll leave it alone for 200 hours. That's what? Uh, if I've done 280 and this game came out in last October? August? The month that starts with the aw sound? It was August or October? It was August. It was August because obviously the October, uh, they had the, the event the eyes and whatnot. September, uh, September, October, November, December, January, we're into February. So yeah, six months. So I'll go back and visit this August. Assuming they don't have any major updates that like reset populations. Hmm. And the other thing I have to keep in mind, too, is that if the game doesn't progress time while you're playing on another map, and as far as this map's concerned, I was just here, right? What did I do last time? I mean, I did the driving run yesterday. I thought I did rabbits. I don't think I was on this side of the map. Yeah, no, no, I did red deer. I was on the right side of the map. So hunting pressure should be 
pretty light over here. Downwind? Wait, what? I just heard a twig snap over here. Unspooked and from above. Me head. Oh, my mouse DPI is up. That's my issue. Okay. There's not much ground over here they could be sitting in. This one little nook is. Fans out to 200. Oh. I'm definitely hearing something below me. But I don't want to give up my elevation because that kind of defeats the purpose of this. It's so quiet up here. It's bad because it's so quiet that I hear this kind of wind noise and I actually don't know. Am I hearing ambient noise in game, the fans in this office, or is my tinnitus acting up? Because it could be any combination of those three. I think I need to cross, get up on there. I wasn't intending to try and shoot them below me on the same hill, but... Why not? I gotta shoot six chamois today. What was the other mission? The other one was for Matures, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. So if I come across a mature, I would probably be best switching missions before claiming it. They're downwind of me, aren't they? Oh, yeah. God, could you imagine trying to bow hunt up here? Oh, I'm excited for the crossbow. I'm excited to get part two of that freaking video done so that I can finally get back to my normal videos. I think I have two recorded. That's why I don't bother with, like, news or anything like that, like the other YouTubers, you know. By the time I got done making a video about it, it would be old news. Oh, there they are. I would say I'm well above them. Those are big. 210. All right. 55, 110, 164, 220. But I need a broadside shot. Are they big or is it just because they had their head sideways? Look at that guy. First one of you to stop catching a bullet. I'd say that worked. I, you know what? Now that I think about it, though, I may just screw this up. Those may have been spooked.
I might have needed to wait longer for them to settle out. I saw one of them eat, but... Oh, look, there's one eating. And I think that is still lower elevation than me. Did my mark go down? Yes. Okay. Well, 243 did the job. They're now 400 yards away. Close to zero is 437. So I'm going to head down, grab my chamois, climb back up, and maybe I'll try and shoot another one if this counts. Ah, uh, now we get down. That's so weird how that happens. The wind goes away at higher altitudes. Like, it would make sense if we were climbing to, like, 15,000 feet. Air is thinner. Sound has a harder time traveling. I also don't think it would be quite as clear cut. Uh oh. Right over here? That's why I marked them on the GPS. Um, there's more movement over there. Where the hell is, is he further this way? Ah, holy cheevers. What did I hit? Oh, I was high. It was 211 yards. I was zero for 220. I aimed way too high. That was a straight spine shot. And he's a two-star adult at 91%. Uh-oh. Uh, I should have should have left him alone. Okay. Hey, that count. That counted. Awesome. Well, then let me climb back up here. I need the elevation back. I heard something moving off over this way. I'll line up like a 400-yard shot. Actually, if I just back up a little bit, is that something moving right there? No, okay. Totally lost them. There they are. Look at that. Like he's presenting. Perfect. Actually, wait, right there. Perfect. Uh, can I aim that far up? Yes, I can. All right, 55, 110, 164, 220, 320. And you moved. But you haven't. Good blood. Oh, yeah, you, like, you can... S oh, he is dropping blood. Oh, Jesus. Not that crap. Knock it off. Scope. Crap. Well, uh... I'm 90% sure he's dead back there. Alright, well, let me manage my markers here. 
Move that one. Go find, there's the blood spot, I marked that. There's one there. Okay. Another one there. Another one there. Cool, all those are marked. And there's a blood mark right there. So hopefully that's enough for me to be able to find him over there. Uh, no, let's just take the side by side. I'll take the side by side over, find him, drive back over here and just Keep going about it. That'll be two down, two to go. Unless he's mature. The other one wasn't mature, was it? I checked that. Yeah, he was adult. He was adult. I like Shammy Hun. I... There's some areas of this map I really enjoy the red deer hunting, but I, I like this kind of mountaintop, you know, peak to peak hunt. Where you, you look at this and it's basically everything within well, that bird. Visibility is huntable. Sorry, I got distracted because I just realized now I can see around. That's a rock, okay. There's stuff running around everywhere. Oh, yeah. This shouldn't be a hard mission. I need the money. I got to mount the melee. And I got to mount the uh, five-star elk, which was going to be how much? Do I need a couple grand? You cannot make, like, Buku's amount of money in ranger mode. I mean, you can, it just takes a long time. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the... I don't even know what knob I'm turning. Well, that's not that knob. There we go. Stuff like this. Oh my god, I think that's the same rock I hit last time. Okay, so I should cross his path. And since I marked the blood, maybe I'll be able to line it up. Or am I too far down in the trees here? Here I'm running to the right. That's not what I wanted. I meant to hit this button. Okay, last blad, last blad track, last blad, holy hell, English. The last blood track was this way. There it is. Oh, here, yeah, that's a, that's a good trail. There he is. Well, 
Well, I say he. I, it might actually be a she. Holy hell. Missed the shoulder by millimeters. Got through right through the top of both lungs at 315 yards. I'm telling you, that 243, that is a long-range champ right there. And it is a mature female. But it should still count. It is. It did. That's two out of four. All right, back to UTV, back to the other side. And clear my things. minutes in already two chamois down that's good that's two down four four to go See, that freaking rock has almost killed me twice now three times on this hillside. I doubt there's anything over here. Hmm. You know, as I'm running downhill, I might actually be better off repositioning over this way. Some other, something to the right. Oh. Well, I heard one. I'm not a hundred percent on the direction, though. Need to mark your count, right? I mean, uh, you got you got to work the missions out. I, I have a feeling the crossbow is going to cost in-game currency, so you need to make sure you have your money stored up for that. Not to mention, are they going to do a set of story missions? Are they going to have the jobs and tasks? And are they going to do? the same setup they did with this map where you can do the jobs I think as you do the jobs to get or no it was a task to get the corners unlocked or you got to spend 18 grand to buy them all they're downhill I hope this isn't the herd that I'm looking for They might be, uh, they might be downhill.
That's one of the reasons I came back here. I have so many missions. I figure the missions are going to help me build up my money. Also, get me to stop recording things so I quit getting backlogged. Yeah, they're down in here somewhere. I kind of just want to find a spot where I can look right and left and stay there for a second. Because this is either the herd that I scared off over here. Okay. I can't see down. Yeah, see, I can't even see down there. My wind is against me on this one. So my best bet is going to be to just find a spot where I have good visibility and just keep my eyes peeled. There's, there was one earlier, that or one herd I heard up this way, the one across, and the one down. So there should be three in this little valley. And I don't want to give up too much elevation because, see, I think right now I'm still above this area here. And attempt fate. There they are. I almost wonder, that little pop-up he does when he goes over a rock, I wonder if that affects him. Alright, I'm going to hold right here for a second. Are, are you spooked? <laughs> it's only a few pixels. But the horns on this one, like his left horn is half the size of the right one. Definitely want him out. This one's short, but big old curls at the top. I don't know. Do something. What do I want him to do? I want him to do something to let me believe that they don't care about me anymore. Oh, jeez, didn't even see. There's still more to my right. So what I'm guessing is they're in my wind to the right, and they're heading down, getting out of the wind. Um... I don't know, what do we think? We think that's unspooked? What is spooked? Is spooked alert? Look at the body size difference between these two. I don't think I'll set up for 220. Five, one ten, one sixty four, two twenty. And I might give you a shot right there if your buddy doesn't block the shot. <sighs> you heard me.
He rolled and got back up. That was interesting. to go find out if that counts as spook. And there were more down to the left, so this may not have been the same herd. Oh, Jesus, don't do that nonsense. Just walk. So I might have actually been better once I collected the last one, staying and coming out onto this open area up there. Eh, maybe. Maybe that's lower. was a good hit and there's the body where are you going lung artery oh I clipped the artery right where it comes up to the spine well two star mature 63 percent all right were you spooked you were not spooked. Okay, so... Nervous does not count as spooked. Alright, back up the hill. I heard one run left. Over yonder. I'll get all my elevation back before I look for them. Cool. Three down, three to go. Wait. Ah, oh, crap. Was that, that was a mature, wasn't it? Ah. Oh. What did I say? I need to check if they're mature, and if they're mature, use them for the other mission. Do not let me forget. Oh. Ah! Well, A, they're above me, B, they're spooked. But they're running below me. They're running from above to below because they just crossed. Ah, dang. Gone. I mean, 500 yards. Given as how much power this thing's been showing with a proper shot. Because these are smaller animals. Oop. Oh, it's a rock. Uh, I think my ATV's over this next hill.
I didn't finish my thought. With given as how well it's been dropping them because they're such small animals, I don't think I'd have a problem taking a stupid long range shot. As long as the wind cooperates. Oh, hey, look. Speaking of stupid long range shots. That's a, that's a pretty stupid long range shot there. I actually also am not a hundred percent sure they are below me. Like, if I could just, if that's... Maybe, yeah, maybe. 460 is a touch far, if I could get it to 437. What's right around here look like? That looks uh, further. With a very strong left to right wind. Well, let's see. Let me find a good, nice spot right about here. Why not? Okay, so 55, 109, 164, 2 to 19, 328, and 437. See how much that scope moves? Strong left to right wind. 437 yards. Good hit. And it bed it down it's still just left of my reticle I can't tell if it's dead though because it kind of looked like he let he laid down I still see his horns sticking straight up I think it's like two pixels so Do something to signify you're actually dead. not certain and this will answer another curiosity I must be shoot a dead animal well I'm pretty sure I missed I actually shot over him but he also didn't move so I'm gonna take that as he is dead I do have my marker pull those two and let's go get the ATV and go get him Now, if only I could get that good with the bigger calibers. 308 I struggle with.
again. I missed the corner. I'm probably going to get murdered by that rock again. Jesus. Hey, I almost avoided the rock. Oh, wow, I can see the blood. Wait. Was he not dead? Oh, no, 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 no. there he is. Okay. Please stop. No, 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 no. Stop. 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 Why? Stop. What's happening? Why are we doing this? Stop. There it goes. All right. 455 yards. Double lung. clean cool happy with that and that was a mature okay here we go we caught it this time i caught it okay see paying attention now so it's this one without damaging intestines or stomach all right all right i didn't damage any of those i didn't 46 percent. he's a good pull out of here anyways there's one Okay, so that's four chamois down. Three to go? Is that math? That's not math, is it? No, it's four down, two to go. Gene, God, you dingbat. All right, back to the other side. I think I found a system that's working. Oh god. Actually, let's try it. let's do something smart that I didn't do last time. Let me just pop out to this opening here. And look over yonder. Yeah, see that mountain is so much taller. Or ridge, whatever you want to call it. This last time I was up here. I mean, I don't see any that I have a clear line of sight on. Yeah, no, I'd be better on the other side. repeat uh, let's see what next zero is 547 I could try for a longer range if any pop up there
Surely there won't be any down here, seeing as I just ran through there with the ATV. UTV. Side by side, whatever you want to call it. Mini Jeep. Off of the thing. I also haven't looked back here at all. Which was the whole reason I picked... Are you spooked? Can I get a little above you? Oh, this might just be a little too easy. Oh, nope. Hang on, hang on. Wrong rifle, wrong rifle. That would have made a mess. All right. Uh, what was that? 164? Two ticks. And let's just go for you right here. Let me mark the ground. Get rid of that one. Oh, that was very bizarre. What? I saw dirt get kicked up by that one. What just happened? Oh, I think I just saw him die. Did I see him go down over here? I'm going to mark it just in case I did. What the hell just happened? I realized I didn't, the second shot wasn't going to work because he took a step pretty much right as I fired, but then instead of it hitting him, it looked like it hit like a dirt clod. Not, not, not entirely sure. I might have actually, okay, so I may have seen him go down because I see the blood going this way. And there's still more down there to my right. I did, that was him dropping. All right. Oh, and I did... I did land the second shot and it hit intestines. So was he a mature? He was a mature too. But he doesn't count for the other one. Uh, I need to switch objectives. I hear him. This will finish this one. And now I just need to get one more mature. I'm going to just walk away from him, let him be, get back up to where the UTV is, and hopefully someone will settle out. It was this way, wasn't it? Oh, no, to my left.
I heard a bunch running right. Did any of them go up this hill here? This one doesn't care if I shoot uh, where I shoot from elevation wise. So this is just find a big shanty, shoot it. Don't shoot it in the butt. Okay, I'm going to move over to this side, check on these guys. over there. I need to see around that edge. One more mature. Making okay money. I have enough to mount the... go back to Nesbers and mount the elk and the mule deer now. I hope they work on, on some kind of maybe expansion for those... Because you really have to be careful with what you save for uh, taxidermy. Because you can only have 75 saved, and then there's there's only so many mounts in your lodge. Oh. Downhill to my right again. Didn't sound like he was on this side, but... Oh, I'm making another noise. There you are. Wait, what? I'm hitting the tree, right? Okay, 200 out. I was like, 130 out and he's that small?
All right, I want to let him wander a bit because I don't think that's some that's a big net. That, now that one that just walked behind the rock. You could be immature. Maybe. You know what? I made this mistake before. Sometimes they have little hints in here. Uh, older camis have bigger necks compared to younger ones. Their belly also changes from straight and narrow to wider on the sides and round underneath. Okay, so we're looking for, for pot belly. Honestly, uh, I think I have pretty good. No, I can't look down. No, I can't look down, so. Oh, jeez. So I'll just get down in this bush right here. Hopefully. Before they come out of the tree line. Set my scope for 160. about 160 will be fine. One ten, one sixty. And move a little bit so I can get this branch out of my face. I think I don't trust the trees. Yeah, so now I'm trying to see him move in between the branches and having the scope wibble wobble one helping. You can hear him moving around in there. going to wander back left or did I miss my opportunity? a rock. I still hear them moving around to the right, but I also just heard one to the left. Ooh, maybe there's an easier shot to be made here.
Oh, they're so quiet. That rock I thought was a wolf laying down for a split second. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Now, the only downside, though, he's 540 away, which is doable. I have no idea if he's a mature, but he also appears to have brain worms because he is just going around in circles. And I don't know that I trust that shot. See what he looks like through the scope. He's just doing circles. Can they get brain worms? Is that a game mechanic I'm unaware of? Seems like it. Of course, someone's going to call that a bug. I call that realism. He has brain worms. That is a realistic thing. I don't know if Shammy can get brain worms, but brain worms is real. So I think I'm going to pass on you because there's no way I'm going to try and... If he were pausing periodically, I would try. But I'm not going to try and make a 540 yard shot on something that won't stop dancing around. That was uphill. Have they been working their way up this whole time? Aha. There we go. That's more reasonable. 260. So what I'm going to do is, can I see him if I go prone? Yes, I can. All right. Wait. Uh, no, no, no. Up. Uh. Oh, God. What happened? Now, why can't... What? Why can't I look up now all of a sudden? There we go. Oh, yeah. You're the one. Okay, so 55, 110, 164, 220. What? What? Oh, God, this sucks. That's as high as I can look now. Are you not going to pause now? Oh. I'd say that worked. Oh, what? Jesus. Oh, yeah, he did. All right, up to the UTV. Hopefully that's the last mature. If not, I think I need to move a bit because I, I, they're just they're in the trees. They're too hard to see up here. I'll move off to the next valley over. What the hell was that? I parked up here, didn't I? Yeah, there's a trail, so my UTV should be right there. There it is.
Man, I like hunting chamois up here. Don't like hunting wolves up here. And then I think I can I have a mission for red deer and a mission for fallow deer. Which I wanna then go. This way. No. Maybe? This one? Man, I knew I should have freaking marked it. I even thought about that when I saw him yesterday. It's like, oh, I just need to remember the spot on the map. You never remember the spots on the map. Write it down. I didn't write. Oh, dear God. The engine's in the back, but the front's smoking. That's not good. on the trail. We're going to take the dangerous route. Uh, okay. Yep. We're good. And then is that the rock? Yes. There it is. Are we good? We're not sliding this time? Yes. Are you a mature? You don't look like a mature. You're not a mature. God dang it. Of course you're not. Why would you be a mature? All right. Uh... Can I see any from over here? No. All right, so I want to go back to the other side. God, I get so turned around. I forgot that ledge was there. Yeah, I want to go look down the west side. And, and when, with animals like that, I haven't learned enough about how they appear when they are mature. So really my only point of reference is when comparing one to another. So if it looks like the biggest one in the group, that's all I got. I have the same problem with wolves too. Because I still have to, I don't remember, I don't know, it's not this map, it's Nesper. So I have to find a four star and a three star wolf. Get out of the rocks, no nuts. And let's park over here. Oh, you know, I haven't checked, uh, cause in down there where the campsite is, yes. Any up on the hills today? No, but we do have, uh, Crap, what are they called here? Mouflon? Fairly certain I don't have any missions for Mouflon. Oh, there we go. Red deer. I think I know where I'm going to be able to find those ones. Nothing for Mouflon.
Plus, if I'm to understand that game time doesn't pass on the map if you're on the other map, then I don't want to put too much more pressure on those guys. Because I did the red deer hunt by myself. I th oh, you know what? No, it's been a minute. Because there's a red deer hunt, and then with the messes before that, it was the brown bear hunt. And then before that was the last time we were up here. But I want to get one more chamois. I wasn't even start that with chamois. I'm back on PC. I stopped paying attention, chat, because someone was chatting. My bad. So I have no idea which time. Oh, probably the weird sound I heard. The screech. Oh, yeah, I forgot they do make that sound. I'm so used to hearing the puma fart. I forgot that they do screech. I, it ha if chat goes silent, I just kind of get in the zone and completely forget. I have actually completely forgotten I was streaming, was streaming before until I look over and it's like, what's all this? Not oh, right. I'm doing things. Short attention span, good game. Forgot the rest of my thought. God, I do love hunting up here. I need, I just want one more chamois and then I have to try and pry the memories of yesterday out of my head to remember where the hell I was when I saw the red deer I want to go after. Hmm. Oh, I see something. Oh, there you bastards are. Ugh. If you follow the YouTube channel, you understand the fact that I wish a grotesquely painful death upon those wolves. Three weeks. Three weeks. Uh, there was a mission to hunt the wolves in the Regina mountain range. You had to kill them in the range. And I can't remember if there were any other stipulations. Oh, wait, you can look that up, can't you? Um, can't you? Was it bog? No. That's not all the missions. Where's the one for the wolves? Har oh, there it is. <laughs> Pass it. Harvest two female wolves in the Regina mountain range. With uh, ranger mode, I have no idea how to tell which one's male or female. So that, I ended up killing like seven wolves. But it took three actual weeks. Like, real-time weeks. Because the thing is, there they are, right? Except, because of this borderline right here, the trail is on the outside of the Regina Mountain Range. So this trail here. And that's what they would do. They would sit just outside of the range. Not going after him. Spooked a level 5 albino whitetail. To shoot it. Shoot the day before it died. I was about to shoot the day before it died. Oh, so it's... Are you certain it's actually dead? Or did you just know... Uh, I don't know what they I've never played with Hunter Sense so I don't know what it tells you. God that's I got a melanistic yesterday or not yesterday, Tuesday. I should have left it alone. It was like a ninety three percent and I shot it as an adult. I think we sat there and looked for it for like two and a half hours. Oh, I'm missing from the herd. Yeah. It'll come back around. 
Well, now here's a question, though. Uh, does the rare... Because a rare fur type, right? That's a, that's a genetic thing, so does that pass on? Is there a possibility that in the next round of whitetail you get? Because we were actually just talking about that at the beginning of stream. Uh, someone was telling me they think it's like three days, three in-game days to one year of animal life. Yeah, so eight years. So that's, that's math, you know, math. Eight times three. Why am I drawing a blank? 16, 24, 24 in-game days. Two, three, two, one. Three, two, yes. Three, two, one, two. 24. Yeah, 20, 24 in-game dates. Okay, right. So, and it doesn't count sleep, and it doesn't count when you're not on the map. So here, I'll, I'll do it again. All right, so that equates to... And let's assume you don't hunt at night, because who hunts at night, right? They don't have great night vision gear. kind of sucks. Honestly, whenever you kick the flashlight on at night, like, your, my frame rate plummets. But anyways... Uh, so 24 in-game days, uh, times we'll call it 24 hours because it's still counting by the hour, and it's a 4 to 1 ratio, that equates to 144 hours playtime for the life of a deer. Bears only spawn when animals respawn. Yeah, so, well, and then not even that, yeah, you would have to... I, I kind of hope they fix that. Like, not saying it's broken, but I kind of hope they do make it more of a genetic thing, because I don't... I'd hate to see this game turn into Call of the Wilds, 3,000 deaths, 16 rares, 4 diamonds looking for a great one thing because of the rares. Uh, buddy, did you forget how to wolf? Because I don't even see your friends. I've learned not to shoot them just because they're standing still. Sometimes, I, for some reason, I, I, I had it in my head that if they, if they break like that, I should shoot them. Okay, well, I'm going to move back. I'll leave the UTV. I'm going to walk back over here. They all move down. I, I could head up further into the mountains behind me. Uh, I'm going to look over this edge. If I don't see anything apparent, I'm going to grab the UTV and I'll head up further. Is that... Oh. Okay. Two... I did one too many things. This, this. Hide yourself. Over here. That button. Now, where did I just hear the chamois? Howdy, Misfit. Texas weather is being weird. Yeah, right. I got uh, 72 today. And then I think tomorrow it's supposed to get colder. I have a family member coming over with their third gen Dodge because I got to do a radiator on it. And they're like, oh, I was hoping the weather would be better because it won't be cold. And I was like, yeah, just, you know, give it 12 hours. Texas will change its mind. Like last night it was cold enough the heater kicked on. Today it's hot enough. Well, it's not quite hot enough for the AC to kick on. I think the vent's doing its job for once. Oh, uh, we had, uh, what was it, two weeks ago, Misfit, was when the freeze at 46 tomorrow? Are you kidding? <laughs> another... Great. Because who doesn't like doing a radiator job on the concrete floor when it's 46 degrees? At least I'm indoors. I Oh, I see you. Hello? Uh, I did hate that when I was in the oil field. Negative 10. Uh, uh, a Canadian. Why a lot of Canadians? Nothing wrong with that. I just find it interesting. 
I just found a new YouTuber I, I, I enjoy watching his uh, Way the Hunter content. He's Canadian. It's like, how do I keep... Like, if you pay close attention, there's also, like, a lot of the good creative ones that do, like, the building. All Canadian. I'm wondering if there's something in their tax system that makes it more beneficial. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, one thing I hated in the oil field was I worked on big rigs. And specifically, I, my specialty was bulk pneumatics, so I had to deal with a lot of the under-chassis stuff. And there's nothing worse than it's like, okay, it's freezing. It's 32 degrees at freezing. But... When you get under the truck and the wind hits the side of a big rig because of how, how big and flat it is, it, like, focuses that wind under the truck. So where it's, like, bearable with a decent jacket, you get underneath and you feel like you're in the Arctic tundra because it's just, like, this high-velocity wind. Your hand starts getting sore because of the cold. Taxes cover our health care fair. Yeah, it was like... And I haven't seen a doctor in... Dear God, it's been 20 years. Which could explain a lot. If you guys are just going to stand there, I'm trying to decide which one's bigger. That's 260. Uh, he, he looks like he's got the rounder... Rounder? The rounder gut? I also hear movement to the right. We can try it. The front, yeah. I mean, there's 20 yards different, but yeah, I, I agree. I don't think 20 yards is accounting for the force perspective. Er, I don't think the 20 yards allows for the force perspective to count for the size difference. Yes, words, I did it. Can you tell I went to school here? Uh, 55, 110, 164, 220. Uh, can I punch through the front? I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, yeah. I can punch through the front. And it's marked. Oh, there's more. They're, like, behind the hill or something, because I could hear them running. Cool. Cool. All right, cross your fingers, toes, whatever other digits you feel like crossing. This needs to be immature. Back is female. How could you tell? Or are you just going off like just the general, what would be the word, female shape? Does that get me canceled? I don't know. World's a scary place in 2023. Horns. Okay, so what about the just the size of the horns? And a bit of that. Okay. And, uh, come on. Mixer. Because I know, like, on Mountain Goat, you can tell by, like, the shape. Fingers, fingers crossed, Miss Bit. Yeah, like goats. Okay, uh, I need to pay more attention to them. Now, if only they did that, because you can do the whole... Like, I can... Da, 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 da. And I can do that. Now, if only they allowed me to, like, pick different ones. I would have to... Excuse me a second. Um, let me find out. Let's see if she's paying attention to her phone. I shot a chamois. Oh, is that how that works? So it's the last one to be taxidermied is what you're seeing. Oh, there it is.
Oh, wow. Through artery, through lung, into rib bone. And are you probably, you are a mature. Haha. -ha. Low percentage. Good, good, good to take him out. Nice. More money. Oh. That's what you're talking about. Good call. Okay, so I need to remember just next time I get a female. Bloody hell, why can't I breathe? Uh, it's a taxi taxiderma, is it? Oh, is this uh, Scarface? Yeah. I had to keep him. That really all I have is a couple red deer in there. The other one I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start like picking and choosing what I what I harvest. Okay, so what do I want to do now? I think red deer. This one. Three mature red deer. And to do that, I now now the brain part. Where did I see the red deer? And what's the best path there? That's a switchback going down. I came up here, I saw a bunch of pigs. Wasn't there another set of switch? There's that over there. This is the one that leads into... Yeah, you can't get the UTV back there. Unless it was this one. No, this one I came out this way. I did that, so... It had to be down here. It wasn't in this valley. In this valley, I almost ran over a pack of wolves because there's uh, it's too steep on the right side for them to get out and the edge of the map is left, so they just kind of ran along the road. I didn't cross here, but I did circle up in the hill. I, I want to say it was down here, so my best bet might actually be to go back to the main cabin because that's otherwise that's a long drive. Yeah, because then there's the, uh, this was a crossing I got the, I got the UTV stuck at. Okay, I know where I'm going. I'm pretty certain I know where that. No, wait, hold on, I just remembered something. There was a cliff. Hang on. Mm, there was a cliff. It was up here. It was in this corner. Yes, there's the cliff. I saw him going along this path. Okay, so still best bet would be to go back, but then I can take the main road through. I remember where I'm going. Uh, I need to get rid of my marker. My marker. Let me get rid of my marker. Thank you. And... Already... Oh, actually, I could just go from here, couldn't I? Yeah, because I could take that path back. All right, let's do that. Uh, maybe. I'm not going to say no on the zones, but maybe. Uh, the thing is, is yesterday I did a bunch of driving around to get a bunch of these things, and I, I saw a specific herd, and since this one's get three matures, I'm fairly certain there's three matures in there. But, like an idiot, I forgot to write down where it was, so I was trying to remember. But I remember that they, I think they were somewhere over here and they ran up this way. Because I remember this cliff, uh, I took the turn too sharp here and kind of 
roll the UTV. And then I got back here, there's a cave. Yeah, empty cave, which is really cool. It actually goes back into the mountain quite a ways. So I think, well, let's see, it's mid-afternoon. Actually, what I could do is I can just drive back to the campsite. That way, at least I have my gear with me. And then if I need to sleep, I'll sleep then. All right, so this trail here? Yeah, okay. Off for a nice cruise in the woods. And almost immediately loses the trail. Oh, and I need to be careful, because this is uh, the trail where I got the UTV stuck. Really? Come on. It was one of these little branches here sticking out, and I came around the corner too fast and managed to, like, perfectly high-center myself on it. takes so much concentration sometimes. It wouldn't be so bad if I just plugged my controller in, I'd have more control than using the keyboard. Oh, there's some jackals. Don't I have a thing for you guys? Hang on. <laughs> yeah, golden opportunity. I don't know if I trust it on the run. Are you gonna oh you're gonna stop right there? Pause again. Not in the tree. Maybe he ran. God dang, he just a freaking beard. Oh, it's a log. I thought that was a jackal head. All right, well, good to know they're here at least. Oh, wait. No, I went to the menu originally to see. Uh, I keep going straight. Next intersection, hang a left. Yes. Oh, he was behind the tree. He just ran off left. All right, you survived today, but I'll be back for you. Okay, now you're tempting fate. Ah, see, yep. Gotta watch these ones that stick out like that. Okay, cool. Um, whoops. The back end gets real squirrely at high, high speed. The only downside about driving. You move too fast for the game to render. Oh look, more jackals. Under the bottom right there. Or yeah, there would have to be more because the other ones ran a different direction. Okay, but this should be 
the trail, and I'm going to head all the way up to the campsite. Mm, which eh, could be bad for wind if they're on this side of the highway. Oh! Crouch, you freaking... Uh, you know what? Let me, let me go ahead and range that. Hello, my lord, I see you. Dear God. Well, I think I found the herd. What was the range on that? 180? When they're big enough that you can spot their antlers through the trees like that. Okay, so what? 110, 164. Other, eh, you're not too shabby. You're... You're the one I want. I do have the red deer collar on me. I think I'm just going to play the patience game. So I have the 300 on me. Perfect. Oh no. That, that'll work. Mark it. And follow him. There he is. Well, I can no longer see him. But the mark was good. I'm fairly certain the shot was good. All right, so that was one of the two herds. The second herd had like two of those guys. And that was further down the road to the right. Oh, I was already standing up. All right, I'm going to just kind of creep out of the woods here in case he's to the left. I'm fairly certain that was a kill shot. And there was only two... St I'm sorry, wasn't that fallow? That, so that sounded like fallow. There might be fallow around here too. Row? Itty bitty deer make a sound like that? I guess I guess that makes sense. Uh I thought I saw something. Nope. All right, well, that might be one of the three already, and I didn't even get to camp and sleep. I don't know. I think, I think that was a mature. The weird barking sound was... Okay. I find it interesting which sounds are different between this and Call of the Wild and which ones are the same. And how some of the sounds that are different, at least to my ears, sound more accurate. With the exception of the white tail grunt, that, that has issues. I don't know why it, it sounds... Something, something sounds off with it. I don't know. I, I think it was... Well, it couldn't have been behind me. I just came from that way. May have been from down... Down the road a bit. I don't remember if I saw Fallow down here or not. I have bad wind to even be bothering with the snake, but... Oh, 
right? This is a 300 on me. I just had a... Oh, oh boy. Yes, okay, good. Oh, wait. I can't tell. No, I don't think that's a body. I think I'm just seeing blood. I'm going to mark that. Oh, and there's another blood spot. Another blood spot. There's another blood. Oh, he's he's dead. He is definitely dead. That's a gusher for sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's good lung butter. But he's dead somewhere over here. That's what I saw. I saw blood on the on the bush. There he is. Look at that. Oh yeah, you're mature. You're all graying out and whatnot. He's big, but he's not monstrous. At least I don't think in the grand scheme of things, there's still stuff in the woods up there. All right, let's see what I got. Uh, he is a mature three star, 73%, almost 500 pounds. Nice. And it was right through the thickest, boniest part of the leg because I like to make my life a living hell. But the 300 did its job and still had enough drive to get through both lungs. Nice. Happy with that. 536 bucks and one of three down. Now I can head back to the UTV and continue on with my plan. Assuming I remember where I parked. I think it was over there. Yep, yep, there it is. See, that's why I bought the red one. I can see where it is. Not many things in nature come in hot rod red. Actually, now that I think about it, bright colors tend to represent dangerous animals or animals with dangerous... Uh, Attributes. There we go. So maybe I'm advertising my danger to the nature by driving a red UTV. Yeah, that sounds that sounds better than I bought a red one so I wouldn't lose it in the woods. It was uh, the jackals that made me stop, right? So thank you to the jackals. Because if I hadn't stopped, I wouldn't have noticed the uh, red deer there. Oh, Jesus. Learn to drive. There's something right here in the grass, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Fallow deer. God dang. A ah, big old fallow deer. Holy hell. I got some paddle boys out here. Like he's trying to take off. He almost has enough wingspan for it. 
Okay, can I find the zone over here before I move on? Um, you know, that's a great question. There's nothing to support this. Not, not a thing to support it as far as, you know, specs on paper, but I feel like it holds uh, a flatter trajectory at longer range. That's, that's pretty much it. And I like the look of it. But then again, I, I I don't think I used the the other one long enough to really make that determination. But it makes me feel confident in my shots, and that's what matters. Here we go. They're still running around over here. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Hey, wait a minute. I need you. I think maybe. You sound like you have friends. You do have friends. Hmm. This my so my plan may really actually. Eh, you know, I don't know if my plan will work out. I I do want to set up at the campsite though. I I just need to get over there and do that before I keep getting distracted. Ah, dang, I hear more. This valley is chock full of red deer and fallow deer. And one hunter sense displays gun dispersion and scopes, and one is much more accurate than the other. Is it is the 700 more accurate or is the SM12 more accurate? Oh my bad, I forgot to turn my knob. The SM12 is more. You know what? Why not? I'll give it a shot. Is it could have just been? Uh random variables in with the shots because the sm12 i would have used it well early on before i really got comfortable with the gunplay in this game the mono block really the mono block hmm. Okay, I I guess. But you're also saying dispersion, so I I can I consider accuracy to be more than just dispersion, but also its ability to remain uh, true to like windage and whatnot. I feel like I've made a wrong turn somewhere. Oh no, this is right. That's interesting. Because I have had horrible luck with the monoblock. All right. All righty, destroyer. Well, thanks for hanging around. I'm gonna have to figure out how to like research some of these rifles. back in two hours. I don't know if I'll be here in two hours, but if I am, I'll see you then. I am, however, going to, since we're here at the campsite, I'm going to take a couple minutes to go get rid of a beverage and get a new one. And then uh, on to... Yep. Camp post links. Wow. Streamlabs actually shows up for once and immediately just... Uh, but there is a Discord. You can post all the links you want in there. Anyways, I'm going to go do a BRB. When I get back, red deer time.
Okie dokie. Downside of glasses with a headset. I've actually torn up the ear cups in these things because the back of my frames keep ripping them up. Uh, don't hit their hearts. Is Misfit still in there? If so, they're in, uh, the answer is they're in Fort Worth. So they've made it like a third of the way. All right, Brain, what were you doing? You clicked here for a reason. Let's let's connect the neurons and figure out... There it is. I wanted to look at times. Yeah, so what are the chances that this river is chock full of red deer up and down it? And before I set the time, if I'm looking at the terrain map, can I... Can I... Can I? Can I, please? No. Can I really not climb this? Oh, missed opportunity. Okay. Can I jip the system and use the UTV to get up there? Yes, but there's a giant rock blocking my view, so it actually doesn't do any good. Okay. Oh, God. Well, now I've done it. Easy does it. Oh, don't high center on the bench. Okay. All right, one more time. I, I, I In the morning, what was the time? Was it nine or seven? Nine. So we'll set for eight thirty. Yeah, it'll come out eight twenty two. Your god knob do what I'm telling you. Already hear things moving down there. And if I cross out to my right, actually, if I go, oh, that's downhill, right? Right. But if I cross out to the right, or I can go over there to that cliff, and I might have a pretty good view from there. If I could get off this, thank you. Just take a quick peek because I thought I heard movement over here. Is this a safe? That's not a safe way down. Nope. Nope. Back to the trail. If I were really smart, I would actually... Uh, Grab, go head over to that hunting stand. I don't know, I've never been much for the with maps that have the stands either in Call of the Wild or this. I feel like it kind of limits limits you in your potential shots. If I'm hiding in a bush, I have a greater opportunity to be able to move to a different bush. All right, so that could be this bit here. So if I follow that across, I'll be able to use this cliff to look this way, up here to look down this way. This could work. Yeah, there's something moving down over there. Yeah, 
Can I climb this? God, it's so nice to have a hunting game where the character has knees. Still hit some limits, but... And I don't have to go buy rope. Oh. I need to chill up. Because there are things right below me. Or they may be off in the tree line over there and I just couldn't see them before. Okay, where am I? What am I looking at? Okay, that's the trail. I cross that. Definitely, they're in the tree line right here. Right across the... Oh, those aren't deer. Am I hearing wolves? Like, I mean, I know I just heard a wolf howl, but I mean the footsteps I've been hearing. Not footsteps, twig breaks, wait. Oh, no, that's just a lump on a rock. They are... Oh! My wind's rotated a bit. Okay, so I actually have good wind for this spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go ahead, run away. I have zero interest in hunting wolves right now. And that's what I heard to the right, too, because I just heard the one on the right run. All right, that should put me looking down. Yeah, I should be able to stand right up here and look down this river. They are struggling to find their way. They're like running up there, back to the left. They are struggling to find their way out of here. All right, fingers crossed, please. I see a gap in the trees. Let that gap stay all the way down. good of a spot as I thought. Too many trees. Alright, so I'm going to keep moving now. Now I see another spot here that might work. Because, of course, under the assumption that there's even deer here, which there should be.
Where am I looking? Is it that spot? Up there. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks much more clear. Make sure there's nothing down here I can see. Actually, from there, I may be able to see backwards as well. I said I was going to switch rifles, and I never did. Well, I don't see anything up that way yet. It is also early, right? Yeah. Up. Blunty one up. Thank you. Climb up this thing. Yes, I can. Can I do this without... Uh, oh, that looks like a place I can get stuck. That looks like a hell of a spot right here. Perfect. I can see down... And look, wolves! I can see back up the trail away, so back over that rise would have been where I saw the red deer I just took the stag out of. Pretty good view of all this hillside. How about back this way? Uh, actually, yeah, I can see down there pretty well. I need to be careful walking around through my binos. Uh-oh. This way. limited range but I think enough that if I were to hear something moving in I can oh uh, no, this way I can call them in now we just play the waiting game watch wolves they're probably what eating right now ish what are they doing right now uh somewhere between drinking and resting is nervously pacing back and forth contemplating life decisions actually no that sounds about right that goes for humans as well doesn't it I really hope that one hurt and no, I saw more than one. Nope. Yes, I heard you. There's something's up there.
Unless that was Deadfall? I think it was Deadfall because I'm not hearing anything else. As soon as I say that. No, that's not Deadfall. There's something moving around. Oh, that must be the Golden Jackal. I was like, oh, I've never heard the wolves make that sound. Wait. No, those are, those are wolves. But there's jackals somewhere over here. There's something else moving off in the trees in here, unless their pack's just that spread out. Kind of hard to think that red deer would be coming down here if there's a pack of jackals and a pack of wolves sitting right here on the shore. Do I even have... Nope, this one, this one. I do have the predator to call her with me. But if I get two more, two more uh, red deer, I complete the mission. I see. Oh, that's fallow. What do you use for fallow again? You use the, uh, this one, right? Yeah. God, so the thing I almost mistook for Deadfall, and then only the second gave me away was actually a small herd of fallow deer. Oh, cool. What about red deer? Which one are you on? Nope. Uh, that's an assumption. Uh. I'm just curious if there's any in these little woods around here. Something moved right up in there. Not this first hill, but the second one. Could be the jackals.
I like to listen because sometimes, uh, usually right when the little arrow gets about midway, sometimes a little closer to the tail end with red deer, you'll hear them respond. I can still see the wolves down there. All right, so I'm going to let this one run out, switch to a high fitness, give that one a burp. I may need to change locations. This may not, it may not be uh, A, close enough for the caller to pick them up, or B, within my sight line. I didn't realize how many trees were over here. I hear the fallow deer like yeah, there's even more fallow deer that way. Kind of a good spot for those guys. say that that's probably the fallow deer right for this. I'm going to think. I think what I want to do... How did I come across last time? I had to have come down this trail. I didn't cross this trail. So yeah, it was right here where I just saw that last heard. I think I saw the second one it was either by this cliff face or this cliff face. Which I think is that one? What I see? What is this? The wolves. Oh, there. There goes the wolves down the road. Alright, which face is this? That's this face here. But there's... It's not like I can get to the edge and look down. Maybe... Or do I cross down the road and I go to the stand? I don't know. Very, very, very faint, but I also just heard a fox. That's every bit of 400 yards out. Oh my god, I almost did it. This way. Last thing I want to do is find out that I can, in fact, get stuck in these rocks. Fairly certain that's fallow deer I'm hearing over that way. Can I get a good look down here? Anything in the ways of deer of the red? Nope. All right. There is one point of interest I haven't gone to all the way down at the end here. I have no idea of, I don't think red deer would be back there.
Yeah, that damn that does the elevation change. That's just right. Okay, I'm gonna stay low because I don't wanna. I don't wanna bother the fallow deer too much. Can I climb back up this? Yes, good. Hmm. That's kind of one of the nice things I like about it is because of the almost sporadic nature. In Call of the Wild, I, usually it's a little more reliable that if you've seen a herd someplace to be able to go back and relocate them in that same location. This, I find that seems to work a lot less. Like, you can't... You, I could probably locate them, but I need to know more about them. The simple, I saw them running off into the tree line while driving by in the UTV is not enough. I swear to God, if a red deer walk out of the tree line behind there, after I walk away... Mm, not okay. Oh, a tree shadow. And, and the shadows get me. Oh, yeah, like here I have much more visibility down this. Yeah, this is a much better spot. I can just walk. Oh, I can just walk down the road. I still hear the fallow deer behind me. Tempting fate. They're tempting fate. Oh, there we go. That is a mature red deer if I ever saw one. They're 500 yards away. Uh, I do want to look through the scope. Hey, go figure, right next to the stand that I said, I don't know if I should go down to the stand. He's mature and big, I think. I don't know if I trust this shot. There's more down in the river. God, if only I had just, first things first, just went straight for that stand instead of stopping on those rocks. Oh, it would be a fantastic shooting opportunity. Bunch of dust getting kicked up up there. And that also, that doesn't look like the herd I shot at yesterday, technically. Are you guys, are you guys headed off? Is it already that late? Or is it my wind? No, no, no. My wind's good for this. Okay. Hmm. I think I'd like to get closer to 300. Doesn't look like they're going anywhere anytime soon. I just need to be careful because it says, you know, I'm 360 up here, but I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple dipping all the way down to the water, which is much closer. Thanks for the follow, Gator. Holy hell. Always forget.
Oh, that guy's tiny. Oh yeah, see there, I just saw the, there's the body of one I can see through the stand window. That's only 320. I guess that's not that much difference. Instead of just, like, beelining it straight, I think I'm going to cross over and get up on this hill. Then I'll be able to see in the water better. Now the stream is working again. Did it stop? I, no, I... Okay, so it's quieter for you guys than in my headset. And actually, I know exactly why that happened. Because I accidentally grabbed that knob instead of my uh, game knob earlier, and I turned it up. I forgot to turn it back down. But that's just from... My ears. Oh, I need to be... I need to be careful. It just happens so infrequently that uh, I forget about it. I forget it can even possibly happen. Oh. I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I could, I, don't get me wrong, like the stream has crashed plenty of times. I love my internet service provider. They do nothing but good things. But uh, provide good internet, they can't do that. They'll collect my money and tell me what, uh, when there's outages, but yeah, so I, I'd believe it. But today, for once, everything's in the green. Well, except for Twitch's dashboard. Your bitrate's unstable. But their inspector says everything's fine, so. Okay. I did not bump you guys. No, I did not. I'm going to. I need to fill out a little bit here. Uh, let's see. I think you're the old guy I spotted. You got a couple of youngins in your herd, and there's some more behind the trees here I can't see. Or maybe that's the old guy. Ooh, I have choices. There's, there's, I see one antler keeps poking out from behind this tree that looks pretty decent. I barely hear him at 300 yards. Yeah, I think that... The bloody hell, is that the jackals? That sounds so sad. Oh, we're 270? Why does it... I swear I was reading further, or closer. I must have been clipping a tree branch. Uh, let's go for 220. Man, that guy's got, he's got like one beam that kind of comes straight out of his head and the other one's curved. Same with him. What the hell? He looks like one of those things that he should be having, like, electrical pulses going up through his antlers. down to this tree. That should be a good place to stop, set my sight. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're... You're dead. You just don't know it yet. Oh, hello! You're not too shabby looking either. Dang it. I hate it when I have to make a decision. I think he's younger, though. I mean, technically, I need two, and as long as they've passed on their genes, it's just a matter of playing the waiting game. I don't know which way they're going to go. They're probably going to head up the hill to the left. Uh, which? If I don't pursue or bump them, I may be able to get a second shot on the herd, so maybe I go for the oldest one first. And if I can see him, I'll line up a second. Right? Because you're you're the younger of the two. Older ones in the brush. They're close. Oh wow, that's registering a lot closer. Okay. You're three hundred, yep. That's fifty five, one ten, one sixty four. Wait for your buddy to come out of the trees. I'm not a huge fan of shooting the animals on the water. Just because if I don't mark the blood perfectly when they come out of the water, it's that much harder to pick up the trail. That guy's eyeballing me. Where's your buddy? Yeah, that guy. What the heck's going on here? I should take you out for good genes, but I'm not a, I'm not convinced that's a mature red deer. You know what? We always forget to do this. I say we. I always forget to do this. They give hints. The males also grow short neck mane, which along with their neck gets bigger as they grow. Their belly gets larger and more saggy as well as their fur getting scruffier with age. Well, that doesn't help. Uh, the code... Darkening to a grayish-brown, so... To my understanding, the guy on the right here would be older than the one on the left because he's got more gray. Kind of seems to be a general rule for a lot of these animals. I wasn't any of you. Oh, way back there is that, uh, heard a big fallow deer I bumped into at the UTV. Look at that guy. He's got the hook on the back, and is that sticking straight out? It almost looks like he has, like, a drop. I didn't know fallow deer could get drops. I may be seeing that wrong. Brain? Oh, it's supposed to rain. I haven't seen rain in this game in, in probably months. Still waiting for that other stag to step out. Wasn't there one more? Have I been looking at this? Is it this one? No, there was another one. I see his antler. No, oh, I see the antler right there. He's in there still. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's a good looking fallow deer. This is a good stand. If you have the patience, you sit there and you pop into this campsite over here and you just come down here right around, like, this is what, 11? Come here nice and early in the morning. I got a big old fallow deer buck there. There's some more back there in the trees.
I got a stubborn red deer sitting back there in the bushes that won't step out. Oh, is that him? Negative. That's him. There's his back. He's going to step out and turn out to be smaller than the one that's already crossed. And he laid back down. God dang it. Look at all them fallow deer back there. Are you finally going to step out? Oh, goody. The ground's going to be wet when I'm trying to track. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am fairly certain he is the bigger of the two. Plus, because he's taken so long to come out, he's the one I have a shot on. God, if I were in that stand right now... After just saying how I don't like using stands because they restrict my movement... I would have choices. Yeah, one on the left is definitely bigger. Good, perfect. Now, now, could you not be... In, uh, I'm going to have to shoot through a leg. Perfect. Now, paw. Uh. <sighs> yep, I'm going to wait a little longer. Just because I can't see the ground, so I won't be able to see the blood to confirm it. Howdy, not. Just trying to snag a stag. Oh, come on. Quit blocking him. All right, that works. You, move. You know what? I should rearrange find this because they have moved so much closer. Uh, they're still good, still good. Come on. There you go. Uh, take a step. That's your step. Yeah, but I need something trophy. I don't want a little spike. All right. It. We're going through. The, no. <sighs> going through the leg. I don't want to shoot over. Come on, a little more. And she's going to pick her head up and eat the bullet. Perfect. Right. And pause, 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 pause. Stop. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Good. Pause. Right there. Nope. Oh, Lord. It's like they know. How have you developed a sense of self-defense against guns? Interesting. Why why are you worried about behind you? The threat's in front, I promise.
Actually, if you could take a step up, 160 yards, the 300 could punch through two, right? I need two more. I don't think I have it at this angle. Where are the fallow deer? Have they moved up? They're still back there. I see one. Yep. Oh, he turned around. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say I got him. But they ran up the right, which is not where I wanted them. I was hoping they'd run up the left. Okay. I'm fairly certain that I mark it. I did. And the fallow deer probably booked it over downstream. Is that down or up? Which way is this thing flowing? I think that's down. Alright, that was way, way too long of a wait time. I should have taken him when he was back on the hill. Cross our fingers, so he needs to be immature, and unfortunately, the way he dropped... Oh, I can't touch the heart. I hope I was high enough. Sometimes with these missions where you're not supposed to hit certain parts, I kind of forget. I go autopilot where double lung heart is the ultimate way. Oh, that triggering key controls. Ah, there he is. Yeah, you didn't make it far, did you, bud? All right, fingers crossed. Double lung, no heart. Nice. And he is a mature three star. He's only a 65%. So this herd needs work. I need to take that other one out too. But at least he's not as goofy as the other one that has one curved and one little stubby thing going on. All right, 525. Another point down. Oh, there's the bark that uh, Destroyer was talking about. Nah, that's Fallow Deer. Because that's what's over there is Fallow Deer. I am going to hop in the stand up for a second and see if I can't see up into the tree line. Because if they didn't run far and I can just... Yeah, 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 it's fine. Right? Pretty sure those are all fallow deer. They're only about 150 out. I wonder if I'm going to spook them climbing the ladder. I still don't know why I moved my head to try and look around things. It doesn't work. Hello? There we go. I can't. Why can't I turn my head? No, don't run away. Oh. Where'd it go? God dang. I need to come back. Oh, there, over there. Uh, where'd he go? There's one in there that looked like he had airplane wings stuck to his head, I swear. Oh, it's been life. The constant game of, can I fix things as fast as they break? Pretty much a losing battle at this point. My son's computer now has to be turned on with a paperclip. And I actually have no idea why. His power supply works fine if I jump it using a tool I have. And the rest of his computer works fine if I put another power supply in it. But I don't have another one that'll actually run the system under full load. 
but if I connect the power supply to the motherboard and then jump it with a paper clip, it works fine. So yeah, it's probably just a sign. Granted, that, that power supply is older than he is by a couple years, so... Because I think the one in his system is the second... No, it was the first power supply I ever had in any of the computers used for this YouTube nonsense. Dang it, I'm going to have to go up there and chase him down, aren't I? Uh, let me pull my tracker. And I've never been up that way. And I won't have great wind for it either. But is that a trail? That is a trail. If I could just get eyes on them and know that they're close enough to call. Still something right here. <laughs> right. Fair point. As it's kind of a because they luckily they sent an update out to where my my console my audio console seems to be functioning as it's supposed to again. And I was like, oh okay, who I don't have to spend money on that. And then I went to kick my kid's computer on so he could do his schoolwork this morning. And he's like, it's not doing anything. I was like, what do you mean? It's not? He goes, it's not doing anything. I was like, oh yeah, it does nothing now. Great. I. Well, then, oh, okay, right. You have a, a car, uh, a car fuse on your GPU. I have home brewing hose cooling mine. My, my uh, computer, ah, I just saw a butt right there. I don't know a butt to what, but I saw a butt. Uh,. Uh, hoses for home brewing, so I always like to joke that my computer's beer cooled. Which, actually, surprisingly, would probably work. God, I don't know what that was. That might have been a jackal. I think I saw a fluffy tail. How far? And that's 270, so it's too far to call. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to draw. Well, hmm. So instead of radiators, you use a kegerator to do the actual heat exchange to cool the beer, then send it through the computer back to the kegerator. And then the heat expansion in the computer is what pressurizes it instead of having to pump a tap. That could work. It could also go horribly wrong because if anything fails, it would be explosive, but because you're essentially heating up alcohol. I don't know if I want to go chasing them. I, I, I swear I see something, but that's 270. That's too far. I have good wind. And I'm, and no audio with the rain. I won't be able to hear them until it's too late. Ah, screw it. What's the worst that could happen? Well, you know, it, it it's not that ridiculous of an idea. Uh late 90s early 2000s a lot of computer cases that supported water cooling actually had uh, these holes in the back of the case with rubber grommets and the idea was they hadn't really made a cost effective way yet for radiators to be built that could be put in the cases so if you wanted to water cool your system you had the cold blocks in the pump internal to the case but the radiator would actually be external so those grommets were for you to pass your hoses through 
and they still make them. They still sell them. You can buy these gigantic radiators, uh, and then actually they even sell adapter kits and stuff to where you can use an automotive radiator. So having remote cooling and also using phase change cooling, so like a kegerator or mini fridge, there's people that'll use like uh, old window units. You gotta be careful with that because if you go sub ambient, then you have to worry about condensation on your circuitry and you gotta break out the Vaseline and have a hell of a day. Hmm. They ran up that way. I guess they could have run right. But would they though? Would they run right? Or See, we're right at the edge of the map. They went this way. I think I'm gonna put my money on they went to the left. I just don't want to go running up there in case they're, like, right over the edge. One more red deer. Hmm. You know what? Actually, while I'm walking, can I do this? I, now that you're here, I need to maybe potentially test something. No, let's screw off ads. Uh, I have no idea if this works. Will it only work if you're online or if you're live? Let's see. Wait, do I have restrictions on there? Yes, I do. Are you not? Uh, uh, let's see. I want to. I want to see if this works. Da, 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 da. Hey, holy hell, I actually had it working. Someone asked me like three months ago to get uh, uh, shout outs working, and I had no idea how to do it without using a remote server. It doesn't do the fancy thing you do, or maybe it does, and I haven't figured out how to set that up yet. And actually, uh, while I'm doing that, I need to do one other thing. <laughs> I have to Google how to Twitch, because I forgot. Uh, and... uh, no, that's not what I want. Please don't be a video. Thank you. Oh my god. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay, I know how to do this. I remember how to twitch. Back to my window. Well, that, not that I need a shout out. It, that I needed a set up the command for it. And then on top of that, I need to try and do this. Which I don't think worked. Interesting. And I'm stuck in a tree. Did it work? No, it didn't work. That is the command, right? I, 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 did I twitch right? Do, do, I, do I even twitch? Don't you get stuck on another tree. I'm busy over here. You, you walk through the woods, do your job. Ah. There's things. Okay, character. Sit here, stare at a hill. Go into creator dashboard and community. Into roles manager. Okay, that might be a better way. Oh. Oh, 
Oh god, there's more options than I even know uh, this that. That work? There, that that did a thing. Now how the hell do I get back to what I was doing? Look at you, we're twitching. Okay. Where have I gone? I haven't even like I I just avoided trees. Here we go. I think I want to pick up the pace if I haven't heard them in a minute. I just realized what I'm staring at. There. Badgers are over here. There's something moving off. Oh, shit. Pat fingered everything. There, now you can now you can shout out yourself, too. I feel so privileged. Well, it makes it easier. E e e e e e <laughs> Say that. Because I wanted to do the shout out thing earlier, but since I was busy shooting the deer. I hear something moving over here, but I got a bad feeling it's just a fallow deer. And Danger took off, or not Danger, Destroyer took off, and he was the one who was like... What was that? Is that fat? That's not fat, though. Wait. Is that the fallow doe bark? See, a lot of people, when they play this game, they start at a lower difficulty level where it'll pop up and say, hey, this is what you heard. I'm an idiot. I went straight to ranger difficulty, so now I have to... They're running? I must have been right on top of them. Lost my train of thought. Yeah, so I have no idea half these sounds that, and I never play this map. I'm 280 hours in, and I think 250 of them are all on the other map. I think I, I think I bumped them. I may head back, grab the UTV. They were probably like right down here. Oh, I didn't realize how far over I gone. There's that bridge. Oh. Yep, I think that's what I need to do. I want to head back to a more open area because I'm not going to be able to sneak around the way I normally do with all this rain. How far am I? Uh, let's just travel. Actually, I could take this opportunity to go get that point of that icon there, which is probably a hunting stand, and do some ex exploring. Day one of turning off everything. Yep. Maybe not my wisest decision. Oh, dear Lord, help. Alright, and turn that down. Alright. Make everyone car sick. Uh. I have to follow this back till there's a left. Right. At least it grips pretty well. The back end gets a bit squirrely at high speeds. There, see, they, you know what it is? They're copying Warzone. Oh. 
Did I outrun the grass? I outran the grass. <laughs> there it goes. And the leaves. What? Why GPU not want a GPU? Uh, this button. Nope, that's the horn. That was supposed to turn on my overlay so I could tell. Oh! Thank God, Red Deer are deaf. Oh. Well, hi, sir. Uh, uh, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to. Oh, freaking tree hitboxes don't. Dear Lord. This is that second herd I was looking for. They were further up. Oh, who do I take? I think you're bigger. Uh, can't hit the heart. Right, so this is actually a bad angle. Your god knob. Okay. That is a monster. Look at the brow tines on that thing. Holy hell. Like, he doesn't have a lot going on up top. That guy's got the tops. Um, he also appears to have forgotten how to red deer. Yeah, he's, he's, all, he's all brow, no arms. Meanwhile, that guy skipped leg day. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I don't want to hit the heart. I need a more broadside, but he, they're just going to wander off, aren't they? Watch the lead, guys. See how... Yeah, they're just wandering off. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I trust this. Nah, not with the cow. Move. Not a cow. What are they called? It's stag, and it's something with an H. Not ho. Is it harem? Maybe it's harem I'm thinking of. That's a group of cows. That does, that's not right either. Oh my god. Move your head. Don't you don't don't. There you go. That I trust. Mark the blood. There he is. Come on, go down, go down. Don't make me chase you. There he is. And he dropped. Mark him. Two marks, two marks. Nice. Well, it was a good call to come back here and, uh... I, like teabagging. I thought I was prone. It was a good call to come back here and, uh, explore further. I'm glad the GPU stopped rendering grass, because that's the only reason I stopped right there. Now, can I get down, across, and back? Yes, I can. Okay. I've made the mistake before of parking the UTV somewhere I can't. I could just drive the damn thing. That would be smart. And as long as he's a mature, that finishes this mission. And that's why I couldn't see him from over there. There's, uh, it goes really uphill. All right. Now, he ran far enough, I think I only nabbed the top of the lungs. This way. This is why you always mark the blood. Because that helped. Ah, oh, there it is. Yep, that's a lung hit. Pink and frothy. God, yeah, he's big. You can see the antlers sticking up out of the ground.
He was bleeding pretty good. I don't think I saw the blood from across. Then again, I was looking through the trees, so... Oh, and he fell in a bush I can't hold, I think. Nope, nope, he's just beyond it. Ooh. You know what? I want a photo. Let's, uh... See if I can get this right. Uh, it's this button. God, my, my character is very shimmery. That's uh, the DLSS anti-aliasing for you. On a struggling GPU. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure if I disable that... And then do it again... Now he stopped shimmering? Yeah, now he stopped shimmering. But my character's slow. There we go. Jesus. Not my character, my uh, camera. Wait, were all these plants here earlier? Yeah, there's still some shimmering going on. Alright, put it back. I need my frames back. Actually, uh, I'm losing like 10 frames turning that on. That's insane. Or off. Oh no, oh no, perfect. I was just front and high of the heart. And he is, oh, he's four star. 87%, 513 pounds. I would hate to be the animal that this thing is angry at. I wonder if they've ever had, like, a red deer just with a wolf impaled up there, just wandering around, like, proud of its kill. Uh, you, I am gonna keep. What's your... I uh, lost four pounds to the shot. And he's at 452. Happy with that one. Keeping you. And that completed the mission. No? Crap, now what? Did I have something for fallow deer? Because there's fallow deer all up and down this canyon. Jackal. Uh, I'm not too fond of trying to go after anything that doesn't have antlers. Just because in ranger mode, I, I don't know what's a one star or four star. I could go shoot pheasants. Wasn't there... It was gray area. Gray leg geese with the 870 wingmaster and five wild ducks with the waterfowl pro. could do that. Where the hell do I find those on this map? That's back down by the delta, right? Oh, that's definitely where gray leg geese are. What about wild? Have I never picked up over here? What? Okay, the zone popped up all the way over here for this wild duck flock. Flock? Yeah, flock. Hmm. Do I have any others? That's pheasant. More pheasant. There's some wild duck over here. No, I remember this. I, I had a mission and I went for those and I never could find them. I ended up going down to the delta anyways. Yeah, so I'll go grab the shotguns and head to the delta. Why not? 80 million miles later. And then what was it? It was the V3. Why am I crouched? Uncrouch. I don't think I ever showed Scarface before. That's one of the last wolf missions you get on this map. Uh, which one? Gray area. So I need the Remington 870 Wingmaster and the V3 Waterfall. Water, water, waterfall. Yeah, the waterfowl. Water, oh no, that time I said it right. Uh, do I, I should do... Part of me thinks I should do one at a time so I don't get confused, but then knowing my luck, if I only go out there with one of those shotguns... 
That's when I'll see the other bird. And then you, I have a red dot, and yeah, let's go ahead and throw a red dot on you too. And then I need what? We'll get rid of you, and you, and grab goose and duck. All right, gray leg, yep. And duck. Cool. Because I always like to try and keep at least one mid-range rifle, whether it be the 308, the 270. Damn it, I always go out the wrong door. Uh, that way, if I... Because down in that area, I can see... Pig. And maybe some really off... Like, off area... The thing I just shot. Red deer. Uh... And the wild duck were on the east side. So I'll drive over and go park it over at that camp. Yeah. Make sure I have these things loaded. Made that mistake before. This one's already loaded. Jesus, what happened? Oh, thank you for the follow, Craig Wolves. And we're going to turn that down so I don't deafen people with my diesel side-by-side. -side. It was louder earlier. I accidentally grabbed the wrong knob, turning the game volume up. And I had turned it up and completely forgotten about it. Hmm. Thoughts. They're up here. Midday, they're wandering around and feeding. Midday wandering, okay, so actually, good time. All right, I wonder what this thing's rated for as far as water crossing goes. I'm driving with keyboard, so I only have one speed. All the Hold up, I just realized those are actually birds. You are I think you're you're broken. You're not flapping. Which one is it? Eight, I think I put it on. Yep. Oh, force a habit. Maybe I don't need to drive that far. How many? I need to shoot five with the 870. I already forgot which one the 870 is. That's the the Woodstock one, right? Yes. Okay. Number one, geese. Two, ducks. Oh, and it broke. Damn it. Nope. There it goes. I have yet to figure out bird callers because I think I see a flock flying by, use the collar to break them and cause them to land, but you have to catch them as they're landing. Which they're right above the knuckles. Way the hell over there. Probably not actually even in range. Oh no, I'm hitting... No, no I want the bird. Uh, 300 something. Might be better off just watching them see where they land. <laughs> Misfit. They're in Fort Worth, and welcome back.
What? Why over there? No? Wait, was that a... What? You know, something else I should pro or wait, or did it work? They, uh, have some bugs to work out. I blame COVID. Can, can we flap? You can't glide that long. You're freaking me out. They told you they'd be there today. I mean, they they made it to Fort Worth, so they're only 340 miles off. Lap. I'm gonna do one more thing, and I, this is this is because I might be dumb here. Gray lag geese inspect. Okay, yes, I am looking at the correct critter. Good. Did I break it again? No. Okay. Uh, that's because it rained, Misfit, and it's cold. People don't know how to drive on wet ground down here. Okay, well that flock hasn't landed. Didn't I see another one go left? I have... what am I... you're not going to see that. That compression's going to completely jip that out. Okay, that was weird. I also like how they all seem to have, like, streams coming off them. I don't know what that that's about. I haven't seen one one flock land yet like those go oh wait they're landing all the way the hell over there what's spook radius on this thing probably about there maybe I mean I'm not too worried about Shooting him, what I say it was? It's this one, right? DPI, DPI, there we go. I don't care about spooking him. I'm fine shooting him in the air, but I'm not going to make the mistake I made last time I had a bird hunting mission on here. I will shoot one. Follow it down, mark the ground. Otherwise, they are impossible to find in the delta here. Right. Well, so Misfit makes homemade ornaments. And we, we bought some from her. And she shipped them out, like, at this point, what, almost a month ago? And they just they just never showed up. No idea. So this is, this is attempt two. Oh, I need to be mindful of time. I have dinner in a crock pot and I need to pull that out in about 45 minutes. Okay, they landed a lot further away than I thought. They're, I think they're right down there. Ooh, I need to get back used to using shotguns.
They're not in the water, are they? Thought I just saw some brush move right there. Distraction. More geese. I gotta keep my eyes out for a uh, wild duck. Ah, they're right there. I mean... It doesn't say they have to be airborne. This is technically unethical, but I don't feel like trying to find the body. <sighs> Make sure my mark went down. It did. Oh. They'll turn around. Right? You guys will be dumb and turn around? I mean, so far, only two of you have figured out how to bird. Yep, here they come. Uh, you. Oh. There it goes. That was probably way too far. That good. Okay. Where's the giggling dog? What? I feel like I'm supposed to understand that. Ah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Like, what? Giggling? They all barked? They all worked? Yep, that's a dead. Okay, so do you count? Counts. They don't have to be airborne. And the other one was over this way. Ooh, may have landed right on the edge of the water. I hope it did. So the trick I found to this is you follow the bird down and you mark where you think it landed, right? And you mark where you were standing when you took the shot. Because of the way the markers work, your mark from the perspective of where you took the shot may either be past or before the animal. So by, but by marking both, you know that the animal is somewhere along this line. So I can go over to this marker, turn and face where I took the shot, walk back a little bit, see if I see it, and then walk away a little bit. Usually works. If they're in the water, they're gone. I mean, it's next to impossible to find but at least on ranger mode if you take it down to hunter then you get the little the little uh glowy body see i walk past and it does look like he may have fallen in the water Oh yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find this bird. Hello, ducks? I hear I see you. Uh nine. Oh, please. Don't do this to me. Uh it, mm. God, I just don't trust it. Not when I'm already trying to find a bird. Ah, uh, you bastards. You're going to tease me now, aren't you? Okay, so... I think... Right around here. Let's see if he landed in any of this. Put on slow walk. And try and look for the gray bird on the gray rocks. But I have come to the conclusion I will make one pass of this and then that's it. I won't spend 20, 30 minutes looking for the bird. We need retrievers.
I turned off path slightly. Cause like in this, there's no way you're finding this bird. Yeah, and I'm already out, and he did not land this side of the grass. I know that. So, that bird's gone. Hmm. Please and thank you. No, you're doing your... That's the way. It's like I know I've shot this thing before. I knew. Right? I needed you with, uh, and what are you? Little one star? Cool, we're one for one on both now. Are you guys just going to fly back and forth over here? Where did the geese go? I don't see any airborne. But if these ducks keep flying back and forth, I may sit tight and just see what they do. I've noticed this a lot with the ducks lately. There's like two that are always flying below the rest of the flock and doing like dolphin things. That was geese. Oh, hi. Well... Straight line. Somewhere in here is a goose. Somewhere in here is two geese, actually. Ah, look at that. Found one. I think you're the one I just shot. Actually, no, I think this is the one I shot earlier. Or no, it would... Oh, no, because... I know. I shot one, I got one. We'll call it good. All right, there's the geese. What about the ducks? Have the ducks decided to come back yet? I think they have. I see flapping. No, they are landing. They landed up on that hill. Holy hell. Bug flew right in front of the binos. Scared the crap out of me. Okay, make sure everything's loaded up. Hmm, do I go for the geese or ducks? I'm pretty sure if I wait, they'll come back. They'll fly back across. Oh, what do we got here? What are we doing? 440, hit again. They're flying slightly towards me. No, they are landing. Okay. Well, I'm going to head back up and find where I parked. My UTV, which I bought the bright red one so I could find it easier.
There it is. Part of me seems to go take this over where the, the geese were. Because there is a little thing where you can actually jump on top of the ATV and use it like a, like a stand. You bastards would go airborne as soon as I leave that area, wouldn't you? this helps at all. It's a little cheaty to find the bird, but I think that only counts if it works. Which it's not. Uh, you know I have never ran over a dead animal, so I have no idea, actually. We will find out. Next one I shoot, I will run it over. I don't think it does. If you do, if you run it over while it's alive, it ruins it. They, uh, I think they call it totaled. Hunting log. Oh. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, my first uh, kills are no longer showing up. Interesting. Do I have any that I accidentally hit after that? There it is. They call it wasted. I saw him flying a second ago. That's why I stopped. Man, let's pop over and see if the ducks are still over there. You know something I haven't... Oh. You can have two people in this. I wonder if the passenger can pull a shotgun out. Let me drive by hunt. Actually, now I need to figure out if you can stand on this while it's going just completely war zone it. Ah. Trust it. Trust it. Don't trust it. I have not a single one of those hit. Ah. You idiots spoke too soon. You shouldn't have quacked. I guess that's one way to figure out where they... You guys are not that bright. Then again, I'm not that bright. And I'm killing you. That's, that's a double slam right there. Now, nah, let's duck. I was way off. I was driving like all the way to a hill over there. Oh, is, it, is that what? Wait. Oh, that's solid ground right there. Is that a duck or a rock? That's a rock.
No, wrong one. I need to shoot them with the Waterfowl Pro, which is this one. see the geese now they're coming back I gotta get my duck oh you're right here aren't you oh Oh, right down here because I can see the branches moving. Well, oh, that's the wrong one. There. Ah, oh, god dang, there's like this little lip they keep walking behind. Oh. What the hell was that? Drop. Thank you. Okay, and we can back back out of the heavy the heaviest menu? The heaviest menu. Oh, there's two flocks, because there's another one over there. So I'm gonna check him, make sure his score's good. This is why I hate killing birds over the water. And actually, I'm going to have to use UTV anyways, because I can't see him. <laughs> Listen, everyone having issues? We've got losing power, bad router. I'm going to go find my duck. There's more ducks over there somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay, so two-part test. T-Rex is already going to know the answer, so he's just going to let us be surprised. And we're golden. Well, that's interesting. Uh oh. Pretty. Uh oh. Um. Did my duck just disappear? Is it under me? I was having fun with the, the, the bouncy fit. Oh man, did I just lose it? Oh no, 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 there he is. And? Not wasted. Okay, so they don't care if you run them over after they're already dead. Good to know. And he's still counted. We're just gonna 
I'm just going to leave that there. So if I go drive back through that field where I shot that goose, I just need to look for a body to come flying out. Right. Oh, we could, we could, couldn't we? Because you get another person in here. With their own side by side. Shoot. Oh, now I have to know if there's collision with the ducks. Because there's no collision between the character and the animals. Does that mean I could move the deer with the side-by-side? -side? Because that was a trick with Call of the Wild. If you had an animal fall wrong, you could use the ATV to move the animal around. So they're on this shoreline here. That's another good reason to keep it with you. So anytime one falls and it's got a rack in the ground or something... shell in. Fly this way. Come on. I dare you. Of course you wouldn't. The mission doesn't call for them to be air. Oh, you would. You would be so stupid. Wait, what? What are we doing? What are we doing here? What the hell are we doing? Um, birds? Have you forgotten how to bird? <laughs> I... Okay. And I'm gonna grab the ATV. I'm going to mark this ground and I'm going to go grab the ATV. The UTV makes a huge difference for trying to spot the birds. I'll tell you what. It's basically like using free cam except you can move around. one. Well, he's dead. <laughs> then I shoot like, oh, it was more this way, wasn't it? Oh, I see him. Blew your wing off. Heck, I only need one more. I think, uh... Which I... Then I, I killed two over here. Didn't I? Or were they so close to the ground they did the call the wild goose thing where they died? Oh. Nope, oh, that's a rock. There's the one I shot on the ground. So at least that's half the mission complete. I would like to know where my other bird went. Didn't I shoot two? Wait. Ah, there it is. Cool. Now, oh, you know what? That's 
so I don't make the mistake. I don't need you anymore. Let's get rid of that. And I don't need you anymore. Let's get rid of that. And we'll throw you over there. And for you, the monoblock. There. Now if we see some pig, we can go shoot pig. Go find geese. And it's starting to rain again. Oh. Still not too deep. All right. I've only gotten this thing stuck in one body of water, and that was because the shore was too steep. God, I'm only getting 33 FPS over here. Holy hell. I got some of the ghost smoke in the sky. No geese yet. Howdy, destroyer. We're shooting birds. Just, oh. I almost ran one over. Can I, yeah, can I, can I do a thing? Ah. Uh, let him go. Let him go. No, I've done this before. Can I not do it on flat ground? Parkour. No? Okay, well. Uh, I found two red deer. I, I did find the the herds I was looking for. We've discovered you can play Rocket League with the dead birds. Oh, that's E. I want four. There we go. You must see the Rocket League. Okay. And if the bird's already dead when you start playing, you don't ruin the score. That's probably something to note. Oh yes, please. Fly this direction. Nope, no, nope, don't turn. I wish I had this thing on the last time I had to do ducks and geese. Man, God, it's not even supposed to rain this much today. Like, it's not even supposed to be raining. What the hell? Oh, that's going to be loud. No? Where is the lightning? I saw where they're landing. I'll go get them in a second. The lightning in this game is freaking awesome. If you can see it. There we go. Perfect. That's good lightning. Holy hell. Where did the storm come from? And the way the light casts off the lightning, the engine actually calculates it out. So like when you're in the trees, 
you'll get like the shadow of the trees and animals and things. It's it's pretty ridiculous. So let's go try and shoot a goose in the storm. Not like standing out in the delta. Oh my god, that one's bright. Oh wow, you, they're actually happening back over there, over the mountain. I just saw the top of one. I hear the geese. Yeah, I've missed the rainstorms are some of the best out of any of the games. Wait, did they take flight? Like, no. That way. Okay. Now, in theory, the other animals shouldn't get spooked, right? Because the shotgun's just going to sound like a lightning strike. That's science, right? Oh, that was over there. You saw the shadows cast by the bushes. Sorry, what? Did they get godlike powers in the thunderstorm? Did I I'm I hit the same bird three times. Wait, are you really? Oh my god. It's kinda epic. Keep flying. There it goes. Two marks. Yep. Oh, I need to get rid of that mark, that mark, that mark, that mark, and that mark. Okay. Now to find my UTVs back this way. If I stumble across the bird, I can check its harvest screen and just mark it more accurately, but I doubt I'm going to. Oh, it's going to be so hard to find. Dear God. Oh, yeah. No, the, the rainstorms in this game are easily some of the best I've ever seen. The dynamics of the lighting, like the lighting is what gets me. Like when the lightning strikes and it brightens everything, it's not like they're just cranking up ambient occlusion. It's actually calculating the light paths. My very first time experiencing it, I was in Nesperse and I was on the kind of central west side where you come down from the mountains and there's a lake right inside the tree line. So I was like creeping around in the trees and lightning struck behind me and the light came through the trees and like illuminated my downed elk and I was like this is this is the best <coughs> okay so first bird went down somewhere around here Bird or the rock? 
That's a rock. I like the rain in Turkey. A lot of people don't, but I, I'm the kind of person like I'd live I, I'd live in Seattle. Oh, oh, you see it? It bounced. There he goes. He wanted to see. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, I did it again. Oh crap. The rock picked the thing up and set me down on top of it. Not again. God dang it. Okay, maybe I should stop doing that. Just a thought. No, I'm I'm hitting something. I got real lucky last time. Man, a lot of these rocks top down look like dead mallards. Yeah, I'm, I, 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 it didn't happen last time, but it may have happened this time. I may have shoved the bird through the map. Because this rock right by my left front, I hit it and I went up over the bird. I'm going to double check it's not just like in the rock. Dear God, everything looks so different from down here. Where's the rock? Wait, what? Oh, I was walking on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Well, let's go look for the other one. This way. There it is. Not going to run this one over. Ah, I see. So I just like flip the end of the wing. That's three. I would have had four if I could find that first one. I think it's gone. That's kind of sucks. It doesn't drift as well as a Jeep either. I will say that. Like, like it just kind of stops when you lock up the rears. But you can still do the uh, front wheel only burnout. Yep, wait, I see you. Are you what I'm looking for? I saw you. There you go. Wait, are you flying this way? No, you're flying.
Yeah, there's ducks right there. Of course there's now there's ducks. Oh, where are we going? Are you flying back this way? That'd be cool. I do not think they're, is this too big and deep for me? Come on. Oh, that was a bright. Jesus. I don't know if this storm's going to let up. Turn this way, yes. Oh, God. That's bright. Okay. My crouch now. Okay. I was sitting there focusing so hard on trying to like see which way the birds are flying. That lightning bolt just lit it up. And this isn't even a bright monitor. strikes that are further away, it takes longer for you to hear the sound. I wonder how accurate that is, like if you can use the whole counting the time between the light and the sound trick. Somewhere right in there. All right, so that was about nine seconds, and it struck beyond that hill, which was probably this here. I don't think that's... Uh, the map's only 55 square. I don't know how far that is, but... It doesn't tell you on the map, but... Well, then again, I'm not... A, oh, Jesus. Those are cool. I love watching that. Also, feel a little worried about standing out in this field with a shotgun. <laughs> a little Easter egg if you can get zapped by the lightning. Like, they hit the nail on the head with, with the rain in this. Oh. There's still a little bit of, like, shader issue, but that's an unreal thing. That's nothing they can do about that. Really? Make me feel better. Die. Damn it. The sound. I actually didn't realize how close I was to him. All right. Go back and get the UTV. Try it again. Get rid of these things. 
I'm really bad with this shotgun. Oh, come on. I need two more geese. I, I don't... Will this work? Oh. Um, thank you. Come on. Oh, I hit one of them. One enough, though. I have heard of it, but I also heard that it has a bit of spoilers. And I, personally, I am not a fan of spoilers. I'm just going to follow you guys. I'm sorry, what just happened there? Oh. Wait. What the hell just happened? I saw like plumes of smoke come out their butts. Like, the hell? Not to mention, I just got completely turned around. Okay. My UTV is faster than you fly. But do you change direction because of me? Ah. Oh, can't look up. Okay, well, and here's an idea. Can I do... down too. All right. Yep, there's only one flew back up. Okay. Uh, anything that says show you the impact energy of each bullet at different distances as well as what animals you can hunt with those guns. I've been figuring that out through trial and error. Well, there's one, and if I can find that other one over there... I've also apparently figured out that you can drive faster than they can fly. You can just kind of jump out and shoot. Did that work? Oh no. Did you die in the water? I don't think it was this far away. Screw hmm. I got it to work once. We'll just do it one more time. Why can't I? I can't ADS. Why can't I ADS? Hello? What? Use. What was I hitting on? I can't. Hello? 
Why is it at what? Okay. Hey, the weather's letting up. Really? Oh, there it is. All right. And that completes gray area. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, we need dogs badly. Or there should be an exception, I think. I don't know. Either dogs or some kind of exception to the ranger difficulty rule for bird hunting specifically. Okay, so that's another mission done. I now have 10 grand. That's freaking awesome. Did I grab any? I grabbed you today. Go huck that in there. Pretty sure the outpost is that way? No. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me remove all those. And it's over there. Up there. Oh yeah, now I see it. I know where I'm going. Oh, that was a... Okay. All's well. Thing is very impressive with this gear. I, I actually enjoy driving this a lot more in the Jeep just because it's smaller. It's easier to navigate through. Now, can you still put two people in this like you can with, with the Jeep? Yeah, I should be able to slide this around the corner a bit better than that. Oh. oh. I was looking at chat, didn't pay attention to the tree. Oh, I need to put my DPI back on. All right, where where do I where do I put you? What do you hold? You hold two. I don't think I have two though. I only, for some reason, I didn't save the second one. I put two of you guys up here. Should I put the third one up here? Eh. Hello? What the? There we go. Just got to time it right. Red deer calm versus red deer head calm. Uh, what do I have on these other guys? What are you? <laughs> Red deer head calm. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Like, he's thicker bean, but the, I still think the tops on that one came out better. That's a hell of a lot of variety for a game that doesn't have the... Uh, the patented true rack system. I don't think there were. My lord, I'm stuck on everything. All right, let's see. I have to go cook dinner. That that's pretty much the end of it. So, but hey, holy freaking red deer, Batman! I think the next mission for wait, what's today? Today's Thursday, Radiator tomorrow, so Tuesday. All of these pretty much are 
12 mature Eurasian. I have no way of telling that till after harvest. I could do the pheasant. Female foxes, no way to tell till after harvest. Jackal, no way to tell till after harvest. Foxes, I could try and do foxes. I don't know how well that would work at night on the stream. But I could give it a shot. But I do want to say thank you all for who hung out and chatted and watching and whatnot. And hopefully we'll see you all again Tuesday. Later.